going to be doing a what I eat in a day video. So I went ahead and filmed my breakfast, lunch, and dinner for a day. Oh, and these are super easy, kind of healthy, creative, and rel and very, very cheap things to make um, throughout the day. And I got all the ingredients from Trader Joe's. So first, let's start off with breakfast. So today we're actually going to make a breakfast green smoothie. So the main ingredient is banana. So we take one banana, put it in the blender, and blend that on up. Then I like to add strawberries as an extra little delicious sweetener, but then you take a whole bunch of spinach. So easy, just put it in the blender, add a few ice cubes, and then you're gonna, you know, mix that on up. Press on. Ooh, look at it. It's so blendy. It sometimes can be a struggle, so I like to add a little bit of water because my blender's not so high powered. Put it back on, and then it gets a lot easier. Mmm, smoothie. And then you take it out and pour your smoothie. And that is it. That's your breakfast smoothie. So yummy. Mmm. Delicious. Now, I like the base of banana, but you can also add apples. But I really like that the majority of it is green. What's so great about this breakfast is that you can take it on the go with you. If you have school or work, you can just take it with you. And it's very filling because it has the carbs of the banana or the apple and the strawberry, whatever kind of fruits you're using. But it also has the nutrients of the spinach. So it's a really great way to start your morning. Now, for lunch, I love to have something delicious. I don't like to just do plain salads all the time. Sometimes I want something a little bit different. And so today I had portobello mushroom caps. And I'll show you how to make those right now. Okay, so this recipe is going to call for a few more ingredients in addition to the portobello mushrooms, like tomatoes, olive oil and vinegar, balsamic, um, some low-fat mozzarella cheese, basil, this kind or fresh, or garlic. Now you start by cleaning off and scooping out the insides of the portobello mushrooms. Next, you're going to kind of top and put a little bit of oil on the insides just so they're ready to be kind of cooked and you can season them to taste with salt and pepper. Put it on broil and pop these babies in the oven. Now, after you do this, we're going to start our mixture of what goes on the inside of them. So you're going to start off with dicing up tomatoes and making sure they're really, really tiny. Put them in a bowl and then add some basil. And then after that, we're going to add our garlic to the mixture. And that's just dicing up and mincing the garlic. Check on your mushrooms, they're probably done, and take them out and get ready to add your mixture. So what we're going to do is just take a little watermelon scooper, or a melon scooper, that's what I use, and kind of just take the mixture and put it into the insides of the portobello mushrooms. And then it's super easy, you just fill them all up to as much as you want and add a little bit of the mozzarella cheese on top. You can put it on top, and on the inside, I just put it on top. Then, they're all ready to go in the oven for their final broiling stage. So like I said, you have to have your oven on broil, put them back in, wait a few minutes, and then they are done and beautiful and delicious. You can also leave them in um, for you know as long as you want. Just keep looking at it, make sure they're obviously not burnt. But I like mine pretty crispy on the outside, and I love when the cheese is melted too with a little bit of the brown on top. And that's this easy recipe. So delicious for lunch, and I hope you enjoy and make it yourself too. I'm telling you, these recipes are so easy, and everything takes like under five minutes to make, except for dinner, which we're gonna go take a look at right now, which I don't know if any of you like spaghetti squash, but it has changed my life. So let's go take a look at that. Okay, so what you're gonna do is cut a spaghetti squash in half and put it in the oven for about 30 minutes on 350, and that is basically the whole process of cooking spaghetti squash. Once it's done, you just take it out of the oven and start scraping at the sides with a big fork. It's really ridiculous, and I can't believe I've never done this before, but it is so easy. As you can see, literally, that's what you're doing. You're just literally scraping the walls, and it creates this like spaghetti-ish texture. It's kind of really weird, but I actually love it. It's not heavy and gooey like pasta. It's actually really light and crunchy, which is, it's really refreshing and delicious. Feel free to have this meal by itself or add your own toppings. I like to put fire roasted tomatoes in a pan and just simmer it with peas and add a little bit of low fat mozzarella on top. And it is the perfect filling, but yet very light dinner. So as you guys can see, everything was super easy to make, super delicious, and I think the most that you'll spend on a recipe is the spaghetti squash, and you just have to put it in the oven for 20 minutes, and you don't even have to do anything. Go take a shower, go do homework, 
go work. It's it doesn't get much easier than that. And that's kind of like what I'll eat in a day. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. And this isn't including snacks. Like sometimes through the day I'll still want a little snack here or there. But that's kind of my meals. And I really, really, really love them all. So I hope you enjoyed this. And until next time, let me know what you like to eat during the day. What's your favorite, favorite recipe that you can share with me? Maybe I'll try it out. Instagram it to me or tag me in a Twitter post at Ray. And please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And make sure you subscribe for more updates. Until next time, bye! We should know what you're falling for. Baby, do you dare to do this? Cause I'm coming at you like a dark horse. Hey!